one day during a bodywork session, the therapist who actually was not trauma informed went a little bit too intensely into my stomach with bodywork. And all of a sudden I was transported. I regressed back to the time of an experience of physical abuse. And it was so overwhelming. And in the session, I was having all these memories, my body was going crazy, but I squashed it all down because I was really scared and I didn't want to share with this therapist what was happening. So I, I squashed it all down, I left the session and then I started crying and bawling for about two weeks. I just was inconsolable and having all of these flashbacks. But with that was a gift. There was this little voice inside me that said, you have to feel this now, Natalia, you have to process. And so I spent four months processing all of these memories and emotions that were living in various places of my body. And it was a very intuitive and non-directed process. I had to go in and I had to feel and move and cry and be terrified and be angry and be sad and all of these things. And after working for about four hours a day over four months, all of my symptoms were gone. So that's how I started. But of course, healing from trauma is so much more complex than that. During that time, I decided to stop all medications and treatments. So at the time, I was still having intravenous treatments every month. I was flying back to Australia for intravenous treatment and I was taking 42 medications. And so against the doctor's advice, I just said, no, I don't want that life anymore. So I chose to just stop everything. So my body really went crazy into this deep state of healing crisis and also it's like my body was trying to dispel everything not just the trauma but all of the the medications that i'd been on too so that was a piece and because i was so very weak i had to do a lot for my body i had to learn how to look after my body and how to walk and swim and build my capacity to be alive so i explored swimming, walking, yoga, Pilates, all of these different things. And the other thing that I realized I had to explore was my relationships. So for me, relationships was the last thing I looked into, but funnily enough, now when I work with clients, it's the first thing that we look into. So I learned that so much of my trauma had occurred in the context of harmful relationship and it was coloring the way that I was experiencing relationships, not only with the people around me, but with the world at large, and also my relationship with myself. So I spent quite a number of years trying to understand what happened, why am I experiencing this way where I'm terrified or disempowered or unable to express. So the relational piece was a really very big one. A big part of healing was learning that it was safe to be here in this body and in this world and that it was safe to express, it was safe to set a boundary, to say no, to ask for help. All of these things were such a big process. So the release work and the purging of the trauma was actually only a really small piece of the trauma healing itself.